The massive artifact is found in the lava cave, and this is going to be the first artifact that we need to collect to fight the Broodmother. To successfully navigate this cave, I recommend a high level Baryonyx with a saddle that is better than primitive, and Gilly armor to deal with the heat, as well as an Otter to help reduce the overall impact of the heat, but most importantly to grab two artifacts instead of the one. It's also a good idea to bring a lesser antidote for the Mega Rabies, as well as Medical Brews, a fabricated shotgun, crossbow with some grapple hooks, bug repellent, water jar, or a canteen. Finally, the dangers that you're going to be facing in this cave are going to be the Iranios, the Dillos, the Onyxes, the Scorpions, the Dung Beetles, and the Lava. But there's also the chance of a Megalania and a Megalosaurus spawning as well. The next cave we need to tackle is the Lower South Cave, which houses the Hunter Artifact. Again, I recommend a high-level Baryonyx with a better than Prim Saddle, some Flak Armor, and an Otter as well as bring lesser antidotes to combat the Mega Rabies if Megalandia spawn, medical brews, fabricated shotgun, stimulants, and bug repellent. The dangers that you are going to encounter in this cave are Arthropleurus, Oranios, Megalanias, Megalosauruses, Dung Beetles, Scorpions, Piranhas, Sarcos, and Titanoboas.
The final cave we need to tackle is the central cave, which houses the artifact of the clever and is the final artifact we need for the broodmother. Once again, I recommend a high level baryonyx with a better than primitive saddle and at least two to three pairs of flak armor, an otter, some lesser antidote, medical bruise, fabricated shotgun, stimulants, and bug repellent. Overall, the dangers that you're going to be facing in this cave will be megalosauruses, onyx, piranhas, scorpions, sarcos, titanoboas, aranios, arthropleurus, and dung beetles. Now that you have the artifacts, in order for us to do beta and alpha though, we require creature tributes, which you get by killing the creatures. What you want to do is you want to look for the snake and sarco tributes in the swamp or in the caves. That's probably the best location you'll find those guys. For Argent Talons, you want to hit up Kano Island because a crap ton of Argent spawn there. I have no idea why, but it is a great easy place to get all their talents. And finally for the Bronto, I generally go to Herbivore Island because I can normally get two to five Brontos at once and it's just safe location to do it, right? With that said, the creature spawn maps are gonna be displayed on the screen right now so you can find out their other spawn locations just in case you don't find them where I recommended. Now that you've collected all the tribute requirements on the island, go to the green obelisk if you're all playing on single player or any obelisk if you're playing on a server like official and then go ahead and place the tributes in there to begin your fight. Now, just make sure though you are the necessary level to enter the battle or you won't be teleported in. You have to be level 30 to do Gamma, level 50 for Beta, and level 70 for Alpha. Now I know Beta says level 30, but that's actually a bug in the game, so don't listen to that. With all that said, thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any video recommendations, suggestions, or you need some help, let me know in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.